Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. Today we're going to talk about candela ratings, which is a measure of brightness. And lots of people get this confused with lumen ratings, which is a measure of total light output. So I encourage you to go look at the previous video blog we did on lumens and also watch this one and hopefully get a fuller picture of the way flashlights are rated in both lumens and candela. But again, candela is a measure of brightness or luminous intensity. And again, lots of people get confused and say, well, X number of lumens, that's too bright for indoor use, for example. And again, that's a categorical error, as I explained in the video blog on lumens. But what they really mean and what is true is a certain number of candela may in fact be too much brightness for an indoor use or a close range or a close quarter battle application. Now the FL1 standard, which is used to rate flashlights, defines the candela rating as the highest candela measurement at any point in the beam. In other words, they find the brightest point in the beam, no matter how small, and use that as the candela rating. So high candela flashlights tend to have very non-uniform or peaky beams where the center is very intense and the outsides much less so. Now that causes a lot of problems and we'll talk about that in a moment. But also it's good to note that intense light travels further than less intense light. So knowing a candela rating allows you to estimate the beam distance or the amount of distance that the light will provide useful illumination. The FL1 standard defines a formula, it's in our written blog if you'd like to take a look at it, but that formula is based off of 0.25 lux as the illumination amount, which is about the amount of light you get from a full moon, much less illumination than you would need for tactical purposes. So as a general rule of thumb, you can see the beam distance listed on a package and roughly cut it in half to be the beam distance that is useful in tactical applications. That was an example of how a highly concentrated intense beam or a high candela rating can be counterproductive. Imagine trying to read a book or blueprints or read a map using such a flashlight. Well, here is a beam. Now this particular uh, flashlight is rated at 500 lumens and 13,000 candela. Now you can notice it's extremely intense. In fact, it washes out the letters on the page and outside of that hot spot, if you will, you can't even hardly see the letters whatsoever. Now contrast that to this image. This flashlight um, used in the same position is an Elzetta Bravo with a flood lens. So it's 650 lumens, higher lumen rating, but the candela is 1,440. Much lower candela, even though it has higher lumens, notice how it evenly illuminates the page, makes reading very easy. Now the main purpose of your tactical flashlight is not reading, so we staged a somewhat more realistic scenario in an industrial washroom. And we used the same two flashlights that we just demonstrated on the book, Namely, one is 500 lumens and 13,000 candela. The other is 650 lumens, so more lumens, but 1,440 candela, much lower candela. Notice the tremendous difference. Try to spot the threat in both these scenarios. Now here's the flashlight, 500 lumens, 13,000 candela. Notice the bright spot on the wall where your eye is naturally going to go. You're scanning, looking for a possible threat. Again, your eye is focused on that bright point naturally. Did you notice the threat? Well, let's look at the exact same scenario with the Elzetta Bravo with the drop-in flood lens, 650 lumens, but 1,440 candela. Higher lumens, lower brightness. Now you see the same environment, no bright spot on the wall, but look at how much more visible the threat is. The difference can truly be life and death. Hopefully the contrast between those two flashlights shown in that industrial washroom were very valuable to show you how too much candela, too much brightness can be absolutely counterproductive for threat assessment and situational awareness. So where's that leave us? How do you know what candela rating is appropriate for you? Well, you want to find the largest area of uniform illumination that you can achieve at your mission distance. Well, what's that mean? Your mission distance is simply the longest distance you are going to be using your, in your application. 
For example, for home defense, the longest corridor in your home, say it's 20 meters. And as mentioned before, the FL1 standard rates beam distance in such a way that you'll want to roughly cut that in half to find the beam distance that's appropriate for you. So if your mission distance is 20 meters, you're going to want to look for a flashlight that's rated at 40 meters. Now, while that's certainly not adequate to choose a flashlight, it will allow you to call out a lot of flashlights that are very inappropriate because a greater beam distance rating or higher candela, and they'll go hand in hand, is not better. You want to find what's appropriate for you. Now, there's a lot more factors that you'll want to consider to choosing the right tactical flashlight for your preferences and for your mission. And for that, I encourage you to look at some of our other video blogs, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out more of what the other guys won't tell you.